Q5. Uh, we finally got our hands on this a little later than we would have liked, but hey, um, we finally got here. Now, I haven't got a pair of scissors or knife, but there is some tape, so we can use that to get past the seal. Let's open that, and there we go. There it is, the Q5, and this is the black version that we get here. And this comes in three colors, incidentally, the white, the red, and the black. Um, and we've obviously got the, uh, I think it's called the piano black. So let's put that to one side for a moment. What else do we get in the box? Right, a bunch of accessories. So we get the standard, well, standard here for the UAE, three-pinned uh, power plug. And we get the USB to micro USB uh, cable connector and charging kind of cord. And we get some pretty standard BlackBerry headphones as well. Nothing special really, just standard BlackBerry with in mic headphones, three and a half millimeter um, port thing, whatever. And that's it, nothing else. Nothing else included in the box. And here it is, the Q5. And wow, on first impressions, it's very, it's nice in the hand. It's um, slightly thin. Um, thicker than I was expecting but um, in terms of width it's definitely smaller um, so we've got a 3.1 um, inch screen here 720 by 720 in terms of pixels that gives you what is it roughly about 328 uh, ppi and we've got a front-facing camera that's a 2 megapixel front-facing camera and it, I believe it shoots up to 720p in terms of HD uh, and at the back we have a 5 megapixel camera 5 megapixel camera that shoots full 1080p at 30 pr frames per second video um, so that's that over there and let's remove this plastic at the back and we get this kind of matte effect here which is really nice actually it's not bad I think it's going to be a bit of a uh, fingerprint magnet um, but it, it, it it feels nice in the hand and it feels sturdy as well. This is plastic and there's no doubting that, but it does feel solid. We've got the BlackBerry logo over here. On the side, we've got the charging port, the micro USB charging port. And then over here, it's interesting. Unlike the Z10 and the Q10, we actually have like a, a flap. And we have access to what appears to be the SIM card over here, SD card, the micro SD card. Down the side over here, we've got the volume rocker and then the mute kind of button over here also brings up blackberry voice at the top we've got the power on off button um it seems like a microphone and the three and a half millimeter headphone jack and that's it the front is the keyboard and this is the arabic and english version of the keyboard which is nice that's included over there it's got a really good tactile feel um a bit small but hey this is this is not like the blackberry q10 so it's going to be different there. We're going to front uh, plastic covering there. And that's a screen. High gloss screen. So it runs a... Uh, it, the processor chip inside is a Qualcomm 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. Uh, 8 gigabytes of storage. 2 gigabytes of RAM. Something to note, and the reason why this flap is over here, is that because it has a non-removable battery. So basically the back over here is non-removable, uh, which is very different for a BlackBerry device. I mean, most BlackBerry devices, with the exception of the Playbook, uh, you have access to your battery at the back, but this isn't the case with the Q5. Uh, um, it's got a 2180 uh, milliamp battery, so that should give you a fair amount of, of juice. We'll power it up for the first time and show you the startup procedure. Now, while I'm waiting for that to boot up, let me bring in my Q10. Here's my Q10, and you can see the Q10 and the Q5 next to each other. Not much in terms of difference um, on immediate glances, but there are some major differences. The first thing is the profile on the side. Um, actually, the Q5 feels thicker than the Q10, that's the first thing. The Q10 has this very premium kind of, a bit more heavier feel to it than the Q5 does. Um, and obviously the keyboard is a major difference here. The keyboard is, 
a massive massive difference you've got a very simplistic keyboard here very reminiscent of the BlackBerry Curve range on the Q5 whereas on the Q10 it's much more spaced out it's got that kind of spacious feel to it and much more reminiscent of the Bold 9900 and the Porsche uh, versions of the BlackBerry uh, handsets so that's a major difference there but actually interestingly enough it feels like the Q5 is width-wise uh, shorter. Um, I don't know why that's the case, but it just feels easier on the hand um, than I thought it would be. But hey, that's interesting. Right, okay, so it's running BlackBerry OS 10, standard BlackBerry OS 10. Um, what we have come to expect and enjoy from BlackBerry OS 10. So we've got BlackBerry Hub that's loading up for a moment. We've got access to the screen you'll be used to. All the Blackberries had the LCD screen as well. Um, just taking a quick look around the device, you can see here on the side we have the micro USB port. There's no micro HDMI on this guy, so unfortunately um, you're going to be left without that. It's been available on the Playbook Q10, Z10. But on the Q5, it's not available. So, you know, some users may be upset by that, but uh, a lot of people probably won't mind it so much. And then on the side here, um, we'll get to in a second, there's no removable back on the Q5. So in the under the flap here, we have our micro uh, SD card and SIM slot. So you pop those guys in there and then pack this back up and you're good to go. And then just rolling around here, we have our volume buttons, uh, mute button on the side, and then our uh, lock standby button on the top with the headphone port speaker on the bottom obviously so getting on the back here you know we have our camera um, and the q5 unfortunately it's only a five megapixel camera on the back and there's a, a two megapixel camera on the front there but you'll see there's no removable back so this actually has an integrated battery which we haven't really seen on any blackberry devices aside from the playbook so i know a lot of users are spoiled by the fact that they can remove the battery and swap it out if need be but on the q5 you're not going to be able to do that but at the same time, it's not a terrible thing. This has a 2180 milliamp battery, so it actually has quite a bit of juice to um, get you through an average day. So I haven't had too many issues with actually having to charge my Q5 uh, during my normal use. You know, I've done it here and there, but for the most part, the battery is actually really good, and uh, you know, it'll it'll get most people through most days. So it's definitely a drawback. We're not going to deny that, but. At the same time, like I said, you know, the battery's pretty big, so it's good. And it, it does give you this little sleeker design, so you don't have to worry about, you know, having any added uh, designs in there to have uh, allow for the, the back door to come off and the battery door to be removable. So, um, you know, just definitely one of our bigger downsides, as well as the, uh, the camera. I don't want to cut anything out of the camera, but um, the Q10, Z10 have 8 megapixel cameras on the back, and the Q5 only has a 5 megapixel, so... Uh, the photos actually aren't really too bad, but uh, it definitely you know takes away a little bit from the device. And we'll just take a quick look at the OS. This at the core is running a 1.2 gigahertz processor, and it has two gigs of RAM. So it actually has the you know both the Q10 and Z10 have two gigs of RAM as well. So the OS runs super smooth. Uh, the one downside is that there's only eight gigs of internal storage. So if you have a lot of apps and games on here, or you happen to store your media on the device itself, you're going to be kind of cut down on storage there, where you know most devices are up to 16 at this point. But you can also put in a micro SD card, which can go up to 32 gigs. So you can put all your media there, you know, music, movies, files. So it'll, uh, you know, help keep your space clean on the device itself. But moving around the OS, everything's super fast. It runs really well. Um, the LCD screen is, is really bright, you know, and it's easy to look at, easy on the eyes. So um, overall, no complaints as far as the OS, but we've seen that many times before. So I just wanted to run through it real quick. But that's pretty much it. So this is the BlackBerry Q5. Um, it's available in black, white, pink, and red in various markets. And overall, it's a good device. You can check out the full review for all my additional thoughts. BlackBerry Q5.